So for for um, for this particular wet felting, you can use um, you can use the 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 proper stuff that we sell, which is um, the mat here, that one here. That's a wet felting mat. You can use that, but if you haven't got that, you don't need to buy it. You can also just use um, an old one one of our old. Um, one of our old bags if you can peel the sticker off and peel it off so it, it could also be cling film um it it doesn't have to be like a fully equipped wet felting um kit that you need for this just need you need something that is waterproof basically so you could use um one of our bags cut it in half and open it up that way and um what i will do is i will look at the instructions because i'm notorious for making up new stuff so i'm going to remind myself how i've done it if you have got bubble wrap that will work as well um but a, just a plain a plain plastic bag will work too this is even though it's wet felting we're not solidly felting this like we have done with the flowers in one of our previous tutorials we're just felting it enough so that it holds together for a soft set of wings also we don't want to have too much weight on the wings because they need to be on the back of the fairy and i'm just going to go overhead so i show you now how to wet felt the wings for a fairy in speci specifically for the water fairy in our um, june fairy box june 21 fairy box and so you lay the fibers out um, on your bag as you want the wings to run already so be so do it um, in small amounts so I'm, I'm doing it going some this way and going some going that way but they need to sort of touch because they need to felt together so lay them out how you would like the wings to um, you know so that it's like a wing shape basically so you can already manipulate some of that from the outset make sure that the fibers do touch so even though you're laying them out to the side and then you've you might not use all of it by the way and then just use a little bit of the blue um, to color it in a little bit more in fact we're going to put the white on first because the these plant fibers they don't naturally um, they don't naturally felt on their own they need to be trapped by um, by the wool so we're putting the white fibers down first and then we lay the blue fibers over the top. You don't have to use all of them. This You want to make something delicate. It's hard for us sometimes to weigh because we don't weigh anything that's less than one gram. So sometimes you need less than one gram, but we don't put less than one gram in, in if that makes sense. So we, we tend to just give you a bit extra and be generous than um, be stingy and give you the exact amount. But you don't always have to use everything that is there. So... Have, have a bit extra and put it in your stash. And then um, the other thing that you need is you need some soap, which I have got here. I just need to grab. Excuse me, I just need to get it. Ah, oh, come on, soap. If you don't know this yet, but we do have um, our own um, wet felting soap that we now sell as well. It comes in three different flavors so to speak one is oh, i'll try and get me let me get this right one is a uh, lavender one is geranium orange and geranium and one is rose i think i did get this right so whichever one you're using all you need to do is just make um have a little bit of soapy water whether you do this by just um sorry you can't really see by just sort of rubbing a bit of soapy water in there and then dribbling that soapy water onto your wings so you do want this to be soapy but you don't it doesn't need to be that soapy so don't empty if you're using like a liquid soap don't empty half the bottle into it in fact i've learned that less soap is 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 better because you have to rinse all the soap out anyway again so just add a little bit of um of soapy water over the top make sure it gets totally wet so you do need to make sure it's wet even though it might not be um, as much soap as you imagine there needs to be and then you fold what i've used is one of our bags you fold that over and then you just distribute the water inside it works if you've got slippy hands so this is very similar to what we did with the wet felted flowers but we're not going to felt it as as solidly as we we just wanted to stick together 
So if you were to needle felt this, you would just probably needle felt it a little bit on your felting mat. That's not quite... Oh, it's getting there. And remember that this, these wings will be pinched in the center when they're done. So at the moment, all we want to do is make sure that you can sort of um, keep these wing bits nice and separate. So once you've got it wet, you can either use your hands by felting it or you can fold it over and just give it a good old rub. It does work a bit faster if you've got a pattern on there or um, um, a rough surface like with bubble wrap or with our felting mat, but it, it also works without. So don't stress if you haven't got the right stuff. Just use some cling film or a plastic bag and, um, and that way you can do it too. And that's already felting. So this is already um, a joined up piece of, um, of, um, of fabric now. And, um, and you can, of course, manipulate it a little bit more from both sides. Um, I, the way that I've done the wings is that I've only felt it, that I've only added the color on one side. So the side that you can actually see, and that's also the side I've decorated. And so just give it a, a bit of a rub, make sure that the, the wool, it doesn't have to be like with the flowers where it becomes literally one fabric. Just make sure it stays on there to create a set of delicate wings. That's what we're doing. So it's not like um, a solid wet felt. And once, once you've done this, you do need to rinse this out. It looks very beautiful from the side where you haven't added the colors too, because that um, seashell shimmer has got yellows and pinks and all kinds, all kinds of color going through it. And I really like it when the ends are kept wispy like this, because that will add to the wispiness and the, the delicacy of the, of the delicacy. Is that the right word? Isn't that what you eat? Um, anyway, whatever, um, the delicate appearance of the wings. And, um, and that's basically all you do is, and then when you wash when you rinse it out and later on you pinch the center together. So you've got a really nice shape there, almost like a butterfly, but, um, you do need to rinse all of this out in, in water, which I haven't got any, separate water to rinse it out now but I'm gonna rinse my hands out fingers out and then you let it dry and when it's dry I'm just gonna put this to one side when it's dry then you will have wings that look like that so the wings will look from the back like that and one once they're dry and once they're um they're nice and you know obviously yeah definitely not wet anymore then you can add these little gemstones onto it that will come in your uh, fairy pack as well i'll just show you this overhead so you can see it a little bit better there you go there's the so that's what i meant about keeping the you can trim the wings of course but you can also just leave these wispy ends and then you have plenty of these um nice little blue um gemstones that you can glue onto it um and they're they're quite light so th um it doesn't it doesn't matter if you decorate quite a few on there they're not they're not making the wings too heavy because you also have got very light weight here with the wings as well and that is basically how you do the wings on the on the water fairy but of course you can make wings for any fairy that way use a different um choose different colors um choose yeah just maybe choose a different um shape as well so that you can shape them with your hands as you're wet felting them